Boils and ghouls. Beto, yeah. I'm a bit pissed off. So, full disclosure. This morning, I woke up at was four. I didn't have to get up till six. Thought, you know what? I'm going to record a video. Oh, look. Really Haunted has got something new. Let's see what a level of bullshittery he's got for me today. I've deleted the video because what he did made me so angry that what I had recorded was an expletive-filled rage. And that's not what I want to do. While I like to keep things a little bit light-hearted with a nice bit of piss taken, I can be serious and I can say, you know, that's out of order, that's wrong. I've deleted two videos this week for fear of upsetting people. And looking back, I shouldn't have. I think maybe I should have released them anyway. And if people are going to get upset because I'm calling out fakeness and supporting fakeness, then tough. Stop doing it. Anyway, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. But one person posts something saying this changes everything and then everyone follows suit. Casper Psych posted a video saying this has to be said. The next day, Laney and Ben, video, this has to be said. And I'm worried about the video that's coming out today from them. By the time this comes out, you will have seen it. Um, I recently made friends through debunking YouTube, the paranormal with Purple. Purple's looked at my channel, said he can't debunk anything. Good. Um, we've had some conversations. He's a debunker, non-believer. I'm a believer that debunks because whatever is left over after I've debunked is possible paranormal. I want to prove there is something out there. Will I ever do it? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I will. Who knows? Who cares? I mean, I do. Some of you do. But I think that's what stands me apart from other debunkers is a lot of them don't believe in the paranormal. They'll say, I'd love to be proved wrong, which is cool. I have respect for that. But for the most part, they don't believe and they won't until they see something with their own two eyes, which is fair enough. I saw stuff as a kid. I've seen stuff as an adult. I see stuff regularly that is outside of the norm. I'm not saying it's a ghost. I don't know if I'll ever see another ghost again in my life. But to me, it's a very real thing. Now then, the reason that I started debunking was I was watching Nuke's Top 5, Slapped Ham and whatever, Mind Seed and all these different videos, hoping there was something in there tangible that I could grab and be like, this could be real. And I kept seeing stuff that I thought was real. And then I'd look into it. And then I started seeing things for myself. I started seeing the bullshit. I started seeing the digital effects, the wires, the masking. I've learned from people like Mr. Grey, Purple, and now The Shape. I also learned that there are some good people out there doing legitimate paranormal investigations. People like the Ouija Brothers. People that want to find something out there. But no matter how tempting it may be for money from fate, from YouTube and putting bullshit in for YouTube clout, they don't do it. And I kind of straddle the line between paranormal investigator, debunker, reaction. I, I do a bit of everything. And that's, it was never meant to be this way. I was never meant to debunk anything. But in my own peace of mind, I just kept seeing so much shit out there that I was like, I've got to... I've got to say something about this, otherwise I'll get lumped in with these people that are faking. And I don't know how the thing with Laney and Ben is going to go, they are fake. It'll never change my opinion of it. Once I've seen one too many things, the smell of fish, then I'm done with it, you know? Um, I don't need to be proved different. Lie once, you're a liar. It's as simple as that. But the one that takes the crown... But absolutely taking the piss and emotionally manipulating people and fleecing people of their hard-earned cash, religious artifacts, playing, getting the violins played for him is really haunted. And he's been getting under my skin since the first second I saw his channel. I saw him on the top five where I was like, there's a wire pulling that wicker basket, I'm done, he's fake. I then said, I'm never reacting to him again. I'm never reacting to Ben and Laney because I've been told how fake they are. And I kept skipping their videos and I shouldn't have. I should have broke them down. I should have said what I can see and called them out. But I was very new to the paranormal on YouTube. And I thought if I upset people, I'll never grow. What a mistake that was, because when I upset the Mind Seed boys, my channel exploded. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, but it was enough for me. Anyway, so I watched this video this morning. It's called This Changes Everything. And what really, really upset me, we'll get to. But please bear in mind that a few years ago, 
I lost my best friend. Um, I text him, offering him around for a Sunday dinner, knowing that he was in the worst place mentally he could ever be. He'd already tried to take his own life twice, and I tried to help him. I texted him on the Friday, and it was all arranged. He was coming around here on the Sunday to eat with us. The Saturday night, I was doing a night shift at work. I got a phone call that he'd ended it. Now, this has got nothing to do with Lee directly. Of course it hasn't. It was years before this clown was on YouTube. But there is a section in this video this morning that turned me... It brought an anger in me I haven't felt for a long, long time. Now, what you need to do is, you need to go over to Parple, P-A-R-R-P-L-E, and look for his video where he debunks the Alexa. That's right. He uses... The Lee from Really Haunted uses an Alexa to talk to, to talk to Vlad the Impaler or Lilith or we'll get there. Right. I'll try. I'll try not to get as angry this time. I can't promise, but I'll try. Now we're gonna take a look at the comments. I'm not gonna go through the full thing. I'm just gonna pick out certain bits and then we're gonna look at his comments because god damn. I genuinely feel for the people that are buying into this man's bullshit. And don't be scared of anything, because it's all lies. Certain parts of this video have been censored to protect the family of the person. Now, I don't know which is worse. We'll get to it. Right, come on. Oh, well, so it's been a while since I last filmed anything. Um... I've actually been quite ill. Um, I've had the virus with a C. Chlamydia? The clap? Um, it was a wild, a wild week or something. It was um, first couple of days. I was having the fever, whatever it is. Um, Stacey said I was doing nothing but talking. Um, <laughs> That's all you ever fucking do. Right. Come on. Get on with it. Um, give a lot of validation to what we've asked. <clears throat> um, so, again, I've, I've, I've been doing nothing, so I've been... Um, He's been editing. It mentioned brother again. That it is... It's not, it's not said that word for... Um, Right, so the last video I reacted to, he basically says he doesn't believe in the audio apps anymore, and now he's back to audio phenomenon, and he's going to concentrate on audio phenomenon. This communication thing, because... Um... Right, this is where we get to it. Can we just... No, full disclosure, I do not believe for a single second that spirits can talk to you through a fucking Alexa, let alone Vlad the Impaler, who wouldn't know what the hell it is. Now, I've got my doubts about spirit boxes. I've I've got more than doubts about most of the apps that even I use on Ghost Hunt. It's just something, it's a tool to maybe try. My last Ghost Hunt, we didn't use an app. We, didn't, we don't use spirit boxes because I can't stand the sound of them. As for an Alexa, I can't. <laughs> really? I think he's the only person that does it. But as I said, Parple has completely shot the shit down. Let's give you a bit more volume for him. Sorry. Vlad, are you here? too much volume now I'm asking the spirit that calls itself lad to come forward and speak into that device again like last time what is going on oh not this guy again listen people at home Vlad here I do not know this man stop fucking calling me I'm dead you fool stop calling me <sighs> Lilith Lilith this fucking idiot is back again don't listen to him he's full of shit what was that? Sorry, Vlad. 
Apparently Vlad's a little sensitive. Please come forward. Come forward. Just like we did last time. You just speak into that device and you can answer my questions. I told you no. Peace off. You answered a lot last time and I'm grateful. I don't know about Vlad's accent. Didn't sound quite right to me. Are you here, Vlad? Thank you for re re uh, replying. Is that Vlad I'm speaking to now? There was a fly in his living room there. Didn't zoom in on it this time. Or block it out with MS Paint. It's been a long time since we spoke. It was actually last week. When you sat in front of his portal. We was talking very recently. Can I ask you more questions, Vlad? This isn't Vlad. It's This is where to guess. Nasty. Forgive me, ignorance. Can I ask who is? Can you let me know who you are? My name is friend in life. Right, whatever's happening here, um, basically, it's claiming to be one of um, my best friends from childhood. Um, he died many years ago. It's just said his name, his full name. I will do this karma than what I tried earlier. If this person was real, you are a disgusting human being, Lee. If this person is not real, you are a disgusting human being. You make my skin crawl. If he's real, I apologise for the on behalf of the human race for this to the family of that person. If he's not real, I apologise on behalf of the human race for this sick shit. Now, before anybody comes at me in the comments saying, how do you know it's not real? This Alexa bullshit has been debunked fully. Check Parple out, check what he does and what how he does it. He shows you how this is done. And this sick fuck is making out that his either pretend dead best friend or is real, which I think is worse if the guy actually existed. Utter contempt for this man. This is um this has never happened before. I've never had anything else come through on Alexa, I don't think. Um Well, quest questions are a waste of time now. <sighs> I don't know what I asked now. If it's you... <laughs> can you tell me when you passed away? Tell me the date. <coughs> now, if this was a real person, his family are probably going to see this. You imagine the upset it's going to cause. This is wrong on so many levels. There is a difference between trying to prove the afterlife. I've lost my best friend or my grandparents. I would love nothing more than to know I could potentially speak to them again. And this specimen is making money and getting people to feel sorry for him by shitting all over what so many of us 
want to know the answer to and there's somebody's family potentially somebody's family out there watching this thinking what the fuck or sat there drinking this in and it is wrong utterly utterly wrong Now, a little bit of a debunking hat on you. Aside from this, for a sig single solitary second, believe that his dead best friend is talking to him through an Alexa. This man, right now, is portraying the emotion of a weak old bowl of Weetabix found in a cupboard. It's your dead best friend. If I thought my dead best friend was talking to me... I wouldn't be sat there that calm. I'd have tears pouring down my fucking face. I'm trying really hard not to do it right now, even thinking about him. And you assume or expect us to believe that your best friend is talking through an Alexa and you're that calm, composed, and nonchalant. That is so wrong. How it all kind of unfolded at the end. <clears throat> what killed you? How did you die? I like what what was it? You can clearly see the name he's saying there. I'm not going to repeat it in case his family are watching. I hope the fuck they're not. Him or me. My heart stopped. I couldn't go on. That's exactly what happened. <clears throat> I'm going to... I'm going to ask some questions now that <clears throat> only he would know. Um, and you would, if you pre-programmed it. Before. When we was... When we was young kids at my mum's house and we did an Ouija board in the bedroom... Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. Scary. Now, can you tell me what happened in the house while we was using that Ouija board? fell down in house. I, I can't actually watch the rest of that. It's making me feel quite sick. Now, obviously, if that event happened, he knows about it, he could have programmed the thing, or the entire thing is a work of fiction, but it is in the worst taste imaginable. Now, some of the comments. Amanda Young, am I the only person ugly crying after watching this i'd give anything to talk to my best friend who passed away suddenly last year this just shows you that there's really something after this i mean these people these poor people this video is the video i've been waiting for since i lost my wife thank you lee seriously this is amazing do you know maybe these people do feel better and maybe that's a good thing but then there's the other side of that coin then don't believe that, Lee. This demon is playing tricks on you. That's what they do. I'm so sorry that it has come to this. I just don't believe what it is telling you. Just be cautious. Love you, Lee and family. Many prayers and good thoughts, shall we? Oh, my God, Lee. I have tears streaming down my face. I'm going to watch this again and again for the first time. I feel hopeful that I can't remember the last time when there wasn't one orb knock vibration, nothing negative at all during your video. Literally. 
everyone is upset, crying. Just everyone buying into it. Absolutely heartbreaking and uplifting. Powerful to watch. And no matter how much I scroll, there's not a negative comment. Now, is he deleting negative comments? But look at him. Look at him. People feeling sorry for him. People emotionally upset. People thinking it's still a demon and telling him to be careful. And this is 27,000 people have watched this. And of the 1,643 comments, I don't think there's a negative one in there. So if anybody that is a fan of Lee's channel comes across and watches what I have just reacted to, please don't take what I have said personally against you. I'm not trying to upset you or your families or anyone of the sort. If you have watched this and it makes you feel better, then you're allowed to have that. But do not fall for this guy's shit. I'm actually quite disgusted by what he's pulling after seeing how easily this is faked. I have an issue with fake channels. I have an issue with fake mediums. I have an issue with liars in general. But to get this many people crying, pouring their hearts out, talking about really private things in this public forum. Just really, really bad taste. Part of me hopes that that was real, but I know it's not. Just not for him. Couldn't give a shit about Lee. But the people in his comments that are so gullible. And I don't mean that in a negative way. That are gullible. That are... I don't even know how I can put it. But he's literally preying on, he's preying on the vulnerable, and the vulnerable are, play, are paying for his home. The vulnerable are paying for his holidays to Romania. He's convincing the vulnerable that he is talking to Vlad the Impaler, Lilith. How far is this guy going to go just for money? People do some really shitty things for money. This, I, I don't think I've seen anything much worse or in much poorer taste. I, I genuinely don't know how somebody can be that vile. The only thing I can think is the semen must have turned when he was made. Something was off. Anyway, um, I've been beard though. I tried to put a little joke in at the end there just to try and lighten the mood. But I'm, I'm genuinely pissed at this guy. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope this video wasn't too much of a downer. But I just, I need people to see this guy for what he is. He's worse than any of the charlatans and fakers out there. What he's done, it's disgusting. I genuinely wish the best for everyone that has sat here to take the time to watch this video. And I hope nobody's been upset by it like I was this morning. Beardo, out.